hey friends or people I don't know yet or other Landon of the guitar here I thought I would actually do um, I, I would be Landon of the digital audio workstation today I'm uh, pretty big into software and electronic music too so um, I recently got this program called Ocelot it's a modular synthesizer a digital modular synthesizer created by a company called Max for Cats and it's really cool unbelievably flexible there's all sorts of different modules here uh, i mean to create this in the real world it would cost uh oh that's cool looking um thousands of dollars and i don't have thousands of dollars so i'm just gonna um, play around with this until i do have that kind of money to throw away which will probably be never um, so, uh, I made this patch the other day and I thought what I'd do is kind of, kind of try to recreate it with you and well, not really with you cause you're at home and you're not helping, but I understand, I understand your position. So let's go ahead and just delete this and we'll bring up a new instance of Ocelot. I imagine my computer will be running a little bit slow. Ocelot is data intensive data intensive is that CPU intensive that's what I'm looking for all right let's open it up in MIDI let's see we've got mono down here Mono's fine eco is off I don't want eco don't give me that all right so what we'll do first is all right so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna pull in a device called clocker Clocker is really cool because it lets you sync to your uh, the time on your digital audio workstation, which is Ableton Live. If you can't tell or you don't know, that's what I'm using. Divide it into 16, so we'll put a little bit of swing on it. Let me zoom in here. It's probably really hard to see. Okay, we'll go a little higher. 13% swing sounds good. We'll put that all the way in the corner because there's nothing going in. Then we'll drag in oscillator to get some noise going. Let's do the phase basher. Kind of keep it in the same pattern. Um, uh, I don't remember what these do. I know I want this at 131. 132 should be fine and then we'll bring in another oscillator we'll bring in the let's see where are we swarm oscillator os morph that's what I want the morph all right and we'll drop this down to minus 12 so they don't sing the same note well they do sing the same note it's just an octave apart and we'll go to a VCA. We're going to need an envelope. It's going to be a modulator. We'll do an ADSR envelope. And just so we get some sound going. So my own voice doesn't drive me crazy without anything else going on. We'll just plug it in there. Oh, you know what I was going to do, but I, I need to do before I can actually get sound out is have a source. So I want to do it the modular way, and we're going to use a sequencer, a sequence, seek eight sequencer. All right, so we'll go, we'll trigger this guy. Oh, let's try that again. Oh, I got him hidden. There we go. Now we go to pitch. Go to pitch here too. Go to the VCA. And then, oops. Undo, undo. Oops. Redo. Nope, didn't work. Okay, that's okay. Signal. Oh, I see. You can only put one input. So let's do this. Let's delete that cable. Nope. That's not what I want. Sorry, I'm still learning the program. So I undid that. Sequencer 8's coming back up. I need to delete this. 
we're going to with the logic no with mixer we're going to do a crossfade which i find is super useful signal in signal in signal in this is going to be coming from the gate uh the trigger is going to be coming out of this trigger into this so we got stereo right there Okay, so now it's making noise. Now we don't need that one. That's good. All right, anyway, um, so we've got this now. The X fade's right in the middle. This is this way you're hearing all the phase bash. This way you're hearing the oscillator, oscillator morph. And we'll actually do this right now. Get it a little twangier. All right, so we've got some noise coming out now. Let me program the notes. What did I have? I had a D sharp one here. D sharp three. C sharp two. It's just a little minor riff that I wrote it sounds pretty Daft Punk slash Justice E but that's fine for this type of synthesis F3 F sharp 1 oh, I'm missing one let's do a C sharp 3 F sharp 1 F sharp 1 Yeah, that sounds cool. We'll just leave it like that. Do a little bit more volume going. All right, that's cool. Let's do, let's add a couple effects and get this thing a little bit more exciting. We will put a, let's put a phaser in. Drag that over here, drag that over here. Uh, let's actually, let's put a couple other effects in too. We'll drop in a, let's shape it. Let's distort this thing, get a little bit dirtier. Signal Sue. Oh, I need a reverb. Of course I need a reverb. Thank you for telling me, viewer. Reverb A. There we go. Man, that was almost a huge mistake. Thank you so much. All right. Signal in. Out. Out. All right. Soft clip's fine. Add a little bit more intensity, get the volume up again, add the decay. Yes, I want all the sizes. Level, get the level up a little bit. Boy, that really drops the volume, doesn't it? I'm gonna put the phaser on, get a lot more depth going. Spread it out. Uh, maybe not so fast. More depth though. And there's some phasing. Alright, cool. Okay, oh, maybe a little bit too much phasing. Let's actually a little add some velocity here too. Randomize that. It's too quiet. It's too quiet. 
Ooh, you know what we can do? I bet we've got a randomizer. Random value. Oops. All right, so we'll go trigger here, send the signal to the velocity. Minimum zero, maximum five. Oh, I need to reset all these though. I think that I can delete, 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 delete. You get the idea. All right, now I can drop it to. Uh, it's only giving me one output value. Maybe I need to raise them up. Yeah, or go all the way down. triggering it oh so let's go oh I see I need to send this in there it is trigger random no but I want that's gonna be for the notes you know what? we'll we'll just scrap this idea for now it sounds pretty cool straight anyway without the velocity um, throw a little bit of the phase basher back in there All right, here's another cool thing. So I'm gonna actually get another sequencer eight in here. Low adding. I'm going to add a clock divider. What did I open? Oh, I added the right one, okay, cool. And then we're gonna go pull this out of trigger one. Did it connect? No, nope, I dropped it. Move this guy down a little bit. And then we can actually come out of here and it will trigger this in a different, um, at a different speed. So it's gonna be slower coming out of here. Move this guy away. And then we'll add a mixer so we can mix the two signals in. Crossfade. It's like crossfade again. I told you I love that thing. All right, so coming out of the pitch. Oh, I missed it. I'm missing these things today, aren't I? Oh, lordy. Pitch. Uh, I, I think I'm straining my computer, so. Sorry about the slowness. All right, so now we've got that. And then we'll go to that. So I can have two ideas that I can switch back and forth just with a knob. So we'll go. Make sure our two. Oh. Uh, yeah, C sharp three. We'll go to minor third. F third. We'll go to fifth. at the end. B3 and F3. All right, so we can have this playing, and then when we switch the knob, it plays the second idea. What else can I do here in the time I've got? Um, do something. What's going to add? Ooh, let me add a filter. Of course, I need a filter. This red filter is pretty nasty. All right, so let's pull in where we can go. Let's do this before all the effects. 
So we'll pull the signal in here from the VCA, signal out back to the phaser. We'll listen to it already. Alrighty. All right, now let's go to LFO. I modulate everything. I love everything to just kind of breathe its own voice. So I'm gonna pull this guy in, go. You know what, let's get that. This is gonna be, is this, does this mean it's synced to the clock? Yes, perfect. All right, so let's go here. We'll do a, let's do a sawtooth moving up. And then we'll come out of here to the filter cutoff. Sounds so good. I wonder if we could. I remember seeing a sequence uh, or a modula module in here that allowed you to connect it to the. Ah, no, that's a sequencer. It had something to do with eight. You send it to the. You send it to be mapped. Utility. Logic. Sequence A effect shaper. Oh, what would that be under? Because I know it's got these. Oh, it's got a map button. Oh, this is going to be pretty CPU intensive. Yes, exactly what I wanted. All right, so now we can. We can do this one. We can also do this guy. And let's do, let's do the rate of this guy as well. And then we'll close this. Get out of map mode. Oh, sweet. Now with one knob, we can affect all sorts of different parameters. That's really cool. Man, what a cool program. I mean, guitar is cool too, but just look at this. Would you just look at it? Cool. So let me stop there. I, th I think this is going to be, it, this might even be too long already. I might have to cut some of this out, but uh, that's uh, Ocelot by Max for Cats. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.